My name is Matt Thrall. I'm the head brewer slash production manager here at Avery Brewing Company. Been here for a little over 10 years, about 10 and a half. And uh, I've seen the brewery grow from 3,000 barrels a year to 48,000 barrels a year. So a lot of change. Adam and his father started the brewery in 93, uh, and they were making a lot of uh, pedestrian, you know, mainstream beers. And the brewery just wasn't doing really well. So by 98, it looked like the doors were going to be closed. You know, the, the end was definitely imminent. And Adam decided he wanted to go out with a bang, a swan song of sorts. And so he wanted to make a beer that he wanted to drink. This was an old homebrew recipe of his. And, you know, back at the time, he just described it as a dry hopped barley wine, a little over 9%. And then huge huge amount of hops and it's columbus 100 percent so bittering flavor flavoring aroma at the end of boil and then also dry hopped with columbus so it's it's quite a little different uh in in the world of barley wines probably more appropriately recognized now as an imperial red or a double red this was the first beer that put us on the map uh the you know we weren't really doing too much distribution outside of colorado and when this beer came out, it, it lit up in beer geek circles. And boom, suddenly, you know, everyone in the States making, you know, multiple double IPAs, multiple Imperial Stouts. And it's just, you know, it's, it's, really, it's really been pretty cool to be a part of. The kind of the growth of strong beers in Colorado. I mean, Hog Heaven in 98 was, was one of the early ones. Our core beers, they, uh, you know, they, they're, they're still around and I mean that's what keeps the lights on but you know it's the big beers that you know not only do we really like brewing but you know we like packaging processing all those parts because they're just they're so demanding and they have such exacting standards that you know they're, they're really a lot of fun and a chance to flex your creative muscles as well.